Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching CTV News in English on the 14th of January 2013. Please have a look at the menu headlines tonight. USAID has building human resource capacity to officer of disaster management in Preben, Kerche, and Kapung Thom province. Posad Provincial Disaster Management Committee holds a workshop on disaster management for rehabilitation and renovation project after Kisana storm hit. Brunei Jerusalem is strongly interested in art performance and cultures of Cambodia and other ASEAN nations. Students of PSE receive medals of cooking skill for competition of Asian Year 2012, which conducted in Jakarta of Indonesia. USAID has building human resource capacity to officer of disaster management in Preven, Kerche, and Kapung Thom provinces. Mr. Brent Heldel, representative of USAID and vice chairman in charge of disaster for Asia Pacific, said that USAID will have building human resource capacity to officials of disaster management in three provinces in Cambodia, including Preven, Kerche, and Kapung Thom provinces. Mr. Brent Heldel said that. Through Padage and ABCD organization, disaster management work in Cambodia, USAID focuses on capacity building for human resource to sub-nation disaster management by selecting three provinces above as the first target due to these provinces seriously suffer from flood and storm in 2011. In response, His Excellency Sunni Minister Nyam Vanda expressed his deep thanks to USAID, particularly Mr. Brent Hedel, representative of USAID who has provided capacity building to disaster management officials of Cambodia. His Excellency Senior Minister Nyam Vanda said that capacity building to officials of disaster management in sub-nation to gain capacity with specific skill in helping residents while disaster happening. Meanwhile, providing specific skill may avoid the officials from danger. National Committee for Disaster Management has assigned the skill officials to deliver the presentation of their knowledge and experience to the others. Posad Provincial Disaster Management Committee holds a workshop on disaster management for rehabilitation and renovation project after Kisana storm hit. Workshops on disaster management for rehabilitation and renovation. Workshops on disaster management for rehabilitation and renovation after Kisana storm was organized by Posad Provincial Disaster Management Committee under the chairmanship of His Excellency Senior Minister Lee Do, Second Vice President of Cambodian National Disaster Management Committee, High Representative of Nyam Vanda, First Vice President of Cambodian National Disaster Management Committee, with participation from His Excellency Khoi Sokha, Provincial Governor of Posad. Seminar is intended to study on disaster management for rehabilitation and renovation after Kensena storm for strengthening project implementation and building up the knowledge on reporting technique, as well as seeking for cooperation between information support in local community and technical team of Provincial Disaster Management Committee through providing a local information to the National Information Center with project cover in selected provinces including Bonti Mien Chai, Stang Trang, Kampung Thom, Posad, Preven, Presenu, Kroche and Takai Province. Cambodian government has received financial assistance from World Bank with an amount of 40 million US dollars to support rehabilitation and renovation projects after Kansena storm hit some provinces in Cambodia. The project is covered with a rehabilitation, telecommunication services, clean water, and sanitation for vulnerable people affected by the storm hit. Brunei Jerusalem is strongly interested in art performance and cultures of Cambodia and other ASEAN nations. Brunei Jerusalem is strongly interested in art performance and culture of Cambodia and other ASEAN nations. Brunei government also proposed Cambodia to cooperate with and exchange experiences as well as study on the sector as Brunei Jerusalem will be the chairmanship of ASEAN summit in 2013. 
The request was made by His Excellency Saif Fadila Saif Ahmed, Brunei Ambassador to Cambodia, during the meeting with His Excellency Ham Cham, Minister of Culture and Fine Arts. His Excellency Ambassador said that leaders of Brunei government has greatly appreciated Cambodia, which has successfully hosted the ASEAN summit and other related meeting in 2012. Particularly interested in an art performance performed by Cambodian artists. His Excellency Saif Fadila Saif Ahmed stated that through seeing brilliant art shows of Cambodia, Brunei sites want to study it from Cambodia by sending artists or instructors to receive the training in Cambodia, particularly at the Royal University of Fine Arts. Besides, Brunei art performers want to find out about other Cambodian cultures such as music, arts, and heritage preservation. In response, His Excellency Ham Cham has expressed a warm welcome. And supported the proposals, showing a highly appreciation for exchanging experiences with Brunei government on cultural exchanges. Students of PSE received medals of cooking skill for competition of Asian Year 2012, which conducted in Jakarta of Indonesia. His Excellency Dr. Thong Khun, Minister of Tourism, presided over the awarding of medals to students of PSE in the ninth competition of cooking. According to the report of Mr. Pun Sarapit, program director of PSE, reported that Miss Eat Sok Chan Sok and Mr. Chia Bun Thun, who are former students of cooking skill class at PSE, received medal certificate and proficiency in cooking. The competition was conducted on the 15th to the 17th of November 2012 in Jakarta of Indonesia, and 12 competitors joined the test. Those are representatives of nine countries of Asian nations. PSE was announced by subdegree in March 2011 for training students in many subjects, include business, hotel and greeting, construction mechanic food and beverage hairdress film and other more. In the academic year 2012-2013, PSE Institute has the student totally 1,595 and 50 of them are women. School of Hotel and Greeting of PSE trained on six courses including cooking, restaurant service, front office, bakery, laundry, and others. His Excellency Dr. Thong Khun said that Cambodian tourism is the cultural tourism and nature, which has been called the green gold and is the prioritized sector among the other due to the social economic development and to reduce the poverty of people in Cambodia through creating job opportunities for Cambodian people, creating income to the nation, promoting culture, and environment preservation. Meanwhile, in 2020, Cambodian tourism will create income about 5,000 million US dollars, and 800,000 residents receive job opportunities. His Excellency M. C. T. expressed the thanks to Asia Injury Prevention Foundation and Global Hammer Vaccine Initiative for providing hammers for kids, students, teachers, and Cambodian people. The Hamid Hanover ceremony for kids was held under the presence of His Excellency Um Suti, Minister of Education, Youth and Sport, with participation from Mr. Greg Grapp, President of the Asia Injury Prevention Foundation and the Global Hamid Vaccine Initiative. Mr. Greg Grapp said that Asia Injury Prevention Foundation, in partnership with the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport. Launch Hammers for Kids program for nearly 3,000 of students and teachers at three schools in Kandal and Kompungspi provinces. In 2011, more than five people perished, and many more were seriously injured on Cambodia's road each day. As pedestrians and motorcycle passengers, children are especially vulnerable. He also called for the elder, led by example, and empower a new generation of safety. Smarter road user to make educated decision to protect themselves, family, and communities. Mr. Greg Grab suggested to begin with a helmet, which is a simple, inexpensive, and highly effective solution against serious head injuries on the road. Research demonstrated that non-helmeted motorcyclists are more than four times as likely to suffer fatal death injuries in case of crash. Only seven percent of motorcycle passengers, including children, seem to be as much at risk of suffering the consequences of not wearing a helmet as motorcycle drivers. Mr. Greg Grab continued that 
across the globe, road traffic accidents remain a leading cause of injury and death, and young children remain a vulnerable group. He added that road safety is an important topic for UPS, likely because our drivers, who are the front lines of our business, spend most of their working time on the road. The foundation will extend over a three-year period and give us the opportunities to extend our SO for safety to the local community in Cambodia, Vietnam, and Thailand. His Excellency Amsati said that a revision of traffic regulation, which would expand mandatory helmet use to adult and child passengers, is currently under review, and if approved, it is expected into effect this year. Sooner that the passenger helmet law comes into effect, one more mother will decide to put a helmet on her, one more husband will buy a helmet for his wife, and each day can sell for life. His Excellency Amsuti has expressed the patience to Asia Injury Prevention Foundation and the Global Helmet Vaction Initiative for providing helmets for kids, students, teachers, and Cambodian people which has greatly contributed to reducing and preventing road traffic accidents as well as promoting the living standard of Cambodian people. A group of Phnom Penh volunteer medical doctors has examined and provided a free medical check-up for residents at Brett Pano Referral Hospital. A group of Phnom Penh volunteer medical doctors has examined and provided a free medical check-up for residents at the Brett Pano Referral Hospital located in Songkat Brett Pano. The generous actions is usually performed by receiving the recommendation of His Excellency Mo Bun Hain, Minister of Health, who is always concerned over people's health and sanitation, to promote and contribute to the living standard of Cambodian people. Speaking to the residents, His Excellency Mo Bun Hain said that the health is main factor for people to build up the society and family as well. Therefore, health care is very important component which we have to adhere to stop drinking alcohol, smoking a cigarette, drug, instead living with healthy staff, drinking clean water, as well as doing regular exercise, particularly consulting with expert and medical staffs. His Excellency Mo Bun Hain has put on medical staff working with governmental institutions to keep up and increase the code of conduct on examination and treatment for residents, in particularly for poor residents, since the ministry has been trying to promote health care services to the public. Cambodian Prime Minister Sambade Chu Hun Sen instructed the Minister of Justice to consider reducing the duration of imprisonment of Mr. Vera Sum Kongkit and Mrs. Ratri P. Patana Paibun. Cambodian Minister of Justice, His Excellency Ong Vung Watana, said that Mr. Vera Sum Vam Kit will be granted six months of jail term reductions, while Ms. Ratri P. Patanao Pai Boom will be released to mark the cremation of that King Father Samdai Prenurodom Sehanu. According to the ministers, Ms. Ratri P. Patanao Pai Boom will be free on the 1st of February 2013, the day for the procession of moving King Father's body from the Royal Palace to the open square of Vil Premeru in front of the National Museum next to the Royal Palace for the official cremation three days later. Mr. Vira Somvamkit and Ms. Ratri P. Patana Pai Boom have been sentenced to eight years and six years in jail respectively on the charge of espionage in the prohibited military zone of Cambodia. According to a press release of the Cambodian Ministries of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Cambodian Prime Minister Samdai Akyat Moha Sanabade Di Cho Hun Sen instructed the Ministers of Justice to consider reducing the duration of imprisonment of Mr. Vira Somvamkit and Ms. Ratri P. Patana Pai Boon in response to the request of his Thai counterpart, Her Excellency Jing Sinawatra. The procession and the cremation ceremony will be live broadcast through the country's radio station and TV channels. King Father Samdai Prenurodom Sehanu passed away on October 15, 2012, in Beijing of China at the age of 90 due to the natural causes. Peer educator teams have reached out their mission to various schools to disseminate the possible risk that children and adults in rural areas may face with. Led by Cambodian Women's Crisis Center, peer educator networks gather in Hun San Prasad Bakong High School 
located in Simri province to share each other the knowledge and experiences regarding the ways being used to rescue the children and adults from any endangered circumstances or exploitation. According to the statement of peer educator team, children and adults are likely to become exploited by others mostly due to poverty, unemployment, less education, and personal predicament in families. Peer educator teams play the main roles to disseminate public about the particular rights of children, which include rights to an adequate standard of living, health care, education and services, right to protection from abuse, neglect, exploitation and discrimination as well as right to participate in communities and development programs. Simri province is a well-known cultural tourism site which attracts mass numbers of local and international tourists to visit many temples, particularly Angkor Wat. Simri province is one of the most remarkable architectural and artistic accomplishments of the ancient world. Angkor Wat Temple is the marvelous accomplishment of King Surya Varman II. Nowadays, the attractive temple becomes famous for all tourists around the world. Angkor Wat was inscribed by UNESCO as the World Heritage Site in 1992. After taking tour around Angkor Wat Temple, tourists continue their walks to Bakhang Mountain so that they can view the sunset and beautiful scenery of Angkor Wat. Cambodia considers tourism field as the green goal, which greatly contributes to the country's economic development and the promotion of culture. According to the report of Ministry of Tourism, foreign tourist arrival in Cambodia increased 3.5 million in 2012, and Cambodia can earn revenues of more than 2 billion US dollars for the national budget. Through the increasing tendency, Cambodia is expected to receive 4.5 million of foreign tourists in 2015 and 7 million in 2020. Thanks very much for watching our news program. We we'll see you again on Wednesday at the same time. Good night.